So, just another quick video about Virtual DJ 2023 and the Smart Fader feature that was recently added to the software. And I did a video about that about a week ago and that raised a few questions. So, this video is really all about answering those questions. So, uh, like you may recall, or you can see it in the video, the, there's a link it's, it's to the first video in the video description. The Smart Fader was really added to support the FLX4 controller. Uh, but it's just a script, so you can use it everywhere, including this little, this little setup where I'm just choosing the keyboard and mouse uh, with Virtual DJ. So I just added it to a custom button. It just says Smart Fader. And what that does, like it shows in the previous video, is that when you mix tracks together using the crossfader, it'll align the BPMs and it'll raise and fall depending on which deck you're on. It'll do some EQ on the low EQs so that it matches uh, those. Um, so you don't have low at the same time, and it'll lock the, the, the beat grids so that everything sounds nice and smooth, right? Uh, but then the first question that came was, does this also work when you're using key match? And yes, it does, because it's just totally unrelated. So uh, you probably know that key match is a thing that'll adjust the key automatically if they're pretty close together. So like in this case, I have a first track here, it's an A minor, and I have another track here, down here, that's an A-sharp minor, so it has a little great tick because they're not totally in the same key, key but they're one semitone off. So when I load this, you can see it says A-sharp minor, so it's not going to be in key. But if I unload it again, and I go into the settings, and I turn on auto match key, and I load it one more time, then it's lowered it one semitone, so they're now both in A minor, so the, the key part of the mix will sound nice. So now if I uh, turn on Smart Fader now, it'll lower the BPM to 125 over here because let's set it to the same as the, as, as the main deck right now because the crossfader is all the way to the left. And it's lowered the EQ all the way down on the right deck. And uh, when we start playing, we'll also see that these grids are now locked together. So uh, we both have the key thing happening and we have all the Smart Fader thing happening at the same time. Let's just test it. At the other track, it adjusted nicely, and do the grading. So now it went up to 125 because this is now the main deck. And if I go back, it went down to 124 again. And it's all sounded nice because both were in A minor because uh, of the auto match key feature, right? So yes, that works nicely together because like I said, it's totally unrelated. The next question I got, I got was then about fader start. Does this thing work with fader start? And yes, it does because uh, it doesn't really care if you're using the cross fader to start the next track or if you're pressing play, the smart fader thing will still do the same thing. So let's just test that. So I go into options here, and then I put in fader start. Yep. Yes. And now I'm going to do the same as before. Don't need to press play over here. I'm just I move, move the crossfader, and this track will store automatically. So of course, they'll need to do it kind of in time so that the facing kind of works, right? So let's just test that. And back again. So yes, fader start works too. Then there was a little additional fader start. That's fader start stop. So let's try that one too. Oh, sorry. So this one. So I put that on there too. So that just means that whenever it's faded all the way out using the crossfader, it'll then stop or actually it'll cue and it'll go back to the cue point that it's currently on because they're both on cue one right now. So that'll work totally fine too because it'll just do the start all over again. So in, when I go back, it'll just start over if you will. So let's just try testing that too. And when I get all the way over, this deck stops and returns to Q1. 
Chuck, go back. It's time. So this one stopped, and I'll try to go back in time, see if it works again. And once again, this track stuff. So yes, that part works too, no problem. So you can certainly enable that together with uh, the Smart Fader. Then the final question I got was about Automix. Well, that works with Smart Fader too, and not really. It does some weird stuff when you do that. So I don't recommend that. Instead, I recommend using the regular Smart feature. So if I disable that, and uh, I go in here, you can see we have it different types, and I really recommend using Smart instead, because that'll look at the tracks and see if they're pretty close together, and if they are, it'll also do kind of a Smart Fader thing, where it, uh, it adjusts the BPMs accordingly. So let's just try and do that, and then enable some, some auto mixing here. And I move it here. See, it does its thing. So that's actually a 10 BPM difference, but it worked nicely. And of course, when it's less, like it'll be the next time, it'll be even smoother. Run the first thing. That's actually also 115, so it just works fine. And then when we, and that makes it all the way, and so it switches the track. Do one more time, next one 116, so even smoother. See, start moving here. So like that, and that works great too. But for that, like I said, I recommend using the regular Automix type Smart down here instead, because that works really nice. And I, I think the Smart Fader on, on Automix does some weird stuff once in a while. So those were the three questions I got. Will it work with, with the, the automatic key? Yes, it does. Will it uh, work with Fader Start? Yes, it does. Will it work with Fader Start Stop? Yes, that works nicely too. Will it work with Automix? Kind of, sort of, but it's a little weird. So I'd recommend using the regular smart Automix type feature for that.